Hello, how are you? Hello, fifth year. How are you? Happy, sad, angry? Yes, all right. Well, I will take attendance. Yes, I have seen uh, many compositions are right, but there is only one left. Mm? No se dejen estar hasta último momento. Yes, only one left and is a boy. Yes, so please check, write the composition and check and hand in, please. Yes, okay. <clears throat> you have time until seven. Yes. Okay, Alban, Teresita, Paula, Nazarena, Francisco, Martin, Milagros, Jose Maria, and Santi. Yes? Okay, remember to put here, right here in the Google Classroom, please. Yes? Esa es la asistencia, ¿sí? Tienen que poner here. Entonces yo tomo la asistencia por ahí. Yes? Okay? Porque parece que esta parte no se entendió muy bien porque veo pocos here. Yes? Y tiene que haber nueve here. Nine here. Yes? Okay? Well, so put H-E-R-E -E here. Yes? Okay. Well, so we are going to check <coughs> page 17 from the exam maximizer. Yes? Maximizer. <coughs> we are going to do unit 3 today. Pages 26, 27, 28, and 29. Yes, you will have the homework 80, pages 18, 19, and 20. And nota, ojo, su hijo o hija tendrá revisión de las unidades 1 a la 3, el 16 del 4. Yes, is it clear? Note, para que vayan estudiando. Doy la fecha hoy 7 y... La revisión es el 16 del 4. Con tiempo para que se puedan organizar. Igual ya de sobra tiempo, me parece hoy. Si organizamos bien lo del colegio, lo de inglés, todo. Pa, pa, pa. Yes? <coughs> ok. Well. Shall we check um, page um, 17? And I will check uh, because today until I'm recording the classes in the morning. Yes, in the afternoon because there are many classes. And I will check, yes, your compositions. Then you will receive with the comments, the correction with the comments. Is it clear? All right, good. So number one, <coughs> number one, let, number two, I'm on page 17, exercise one. The choose, the multiple choice. One, let, two, us, three, went, four, guess. Five absolutely, six tells, nine, uh, seven news, and eight lots. If you need a repetition, you have to rewind your video, okay? Good. Well, uh, in exercise two, the possibilities are, yes, the phrases one, four, six, and eight, yes? Okay, one thing I want you to, to check, I know that, that most of you have handed in the compositions, but whenever you write, I want you to check before hand handing in, because we need, you need to have less mistakes, yes, okay? Punctuation, commas, stops, capital letter, yes, grammar, Present simple, present continuous, past connectors, yes? Spelling, yes? Word order, yes? Wrong word, si la palabra es correcta que vaya en ese context, okay? So, be careful with punctuation, grammar, spelling, word order, wrong word, yes? Okay? So, all this, these points must be checked before handing, okay? So please concentrate, yes? All right, so this is done. Bye-bye activity book. And I want you to put the date on pages 26, 27, 28, and 29. Yes? <clears throat> yes? How are you going on, yes? At home with uh, this situation, yes? Are you worried, yes? Okay, are you doing a lot of things? Are you completely... Uh, board, yes, okay, well, send me a message, yes, good, 
Well, number one, yes, are you there? 26, 27, 28, and 29. <coughs> passions, yes. So, uh, unit three is about passions. And in number one, is discussion. So, you have to be talking. Yes, I want you to prepare you your highlighter, as always. Yes. Okay. Well, so you will highlight the speaking parts. Yes. Okay, and discuss. Do you belong to any clubs? Yes. Which club do you belong to? Yes. Uh, do you have to pay a fee to belong to, to be a member of this club? Yes. Uh, do you have any passion? Uh, do you... Um, do you like doing these activities? What's your hobby? Yes? Have you got any hobby? Yes? So I want you to think about this. Talk for one minute alone at home. Yes? And now you have to look at the courses because you have courses advertised below. Yes? And you have to see, decide which would you like to be... Uh, yes? And which one would you like to be part of? Yes? Which would you most and least like to do? So, read all of them, yes, and tell me why, tell at home, yes, talk about this at home, why would you do this course, yes, what would you follow, yes, why? A salsa club, would you belong to a drama and musical club, jewelry making, yes, elementary car maintenance and repairs, yes, Advanced computer skills, yes, that's very important nowadays. Hurling, baking, salsa, okay. Just read, yes, each of them and tell me why would you like to be part of this club, yes, okay? Most of them are excellent courses, yes, but uh, which is the most suitable for you, yes, okay? Are you there? Did you know did you notice that for example hurling if you want to learn to play an unusual sport that's fast moving and part of a long Irish tradition then take up hurling yes what is the meaning of take up do you remember the meaning of this phrase Alva? to take up an activity. Will you take up tennis next month? Yes, okay. And it's a hurling is Irish, yes, okay. Baking, yes, dancing size, salsa, yes, okay. Well, you choose it and tell why would you like to be there and which one is not suitable for you, yes. I wouldn't try, for example, I wouldn't try dancer because I'm not very good at, I'm not keen on dancing, yes. I would try jewelry making, yes, because I, I like wearing accessories, yes, okay. And it could be very um, cheap if I uh, make my own jewelry, yes, cheaper than buying, yes, okay. So I want you to talk about this. So let's go uh, very quickly to exercise two. I have given you many ideas. So now let's go to exercise two. The listening. Read the statement first. Yes. And now we do the listening. Are you ready? Ready, steady. Unit go. three. Passions. Listening and vocabulary focus. Activity two. Speaker one. Well, I'm really into acting. In fact, I just like being on stage full stop. It could be singing, acting, dancing. I think I've always wanted to be a performer, and I know that somehow that's what I'll end up doing. It's amazing to be in front of an audience and make them laugh or cry. So, I've joined as many groups as I can to get a lot of experience. It would be so good to have a career that is my hobby too. I, I know it's not going to be easy, but I can't imagine doing anything else. Speaker 2 Well, I got into the sport when my family came back to Ireland when I was a teenager. 
I've always been fascinated by Irish culture and keen on sport, so it was brilliant to find something that combined these things. It's an incredibly fast-moving game, and I became totally hooked on it. We play hard on the pitch, but players never deliberately foul or hurt each other, like in football. There's still a sense of fair play, and it hasn't been spoiled by money either. We're all amateurs and play for the love of the game, and the glory, of course. Speaker 3 It's funny, really, because I've never been that interested in working with my hands or fond of needlework. But for some reason, I absolutely love doing this, and being able to make my own designs is amazing. I realise it's important for me to do something that's not just practical, like everything else I do. I'm doing a course to learn the basics, but it takes a lifetime to become really good at it. I'm always phoning up my teacher for some advice. I make a lot of presents for my family and friends in my spare time. Speaker 4 I spend my days in a lawyer's office dealing with very serious matters, but once a week I go to my class and can really let go. I love the music and a chance to dance. It was quite tough at first because the steps are difficult, but if you stick with it, then you can learn enough to have fun and not make a fool of yourself. The people in my group are really great and from different walks of life. And I don't know how well we'd get on outside class, but for that hour, we're in a different world and passionate about what we're doing. Okay, so we have, uh, remember, what is astonish? Because it says astonish your friend. is to amaze, amaze somebody. Yes, okay, maybe you can do the jewelry making and you will astonish, astonish your friend. Yes, is it clear? Yes, is it clear? Astonish, astonish, astonish. Yes, your friends, okay? Is to amaze somebody. Yes, remember a tennis court and a hurling, a hurling pitch. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Okay, football pitch also. Yes. Um, so let's go. Three, speaker one, D. Speaker two, A. Speaker 3, B. Speaker 4, C. Yes, all right? I want you to go now very quickly to exercise 4. Exercise 4. Come on. Ready? Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Don't cheat, all right? I will go to the answers. Number 1. About. Yes, and I want you to highlight this. Passionate about. Yes, okay. Full. Yes, full, yes, okay, number three, hooked, yes, hooked on car, yes, I guess I got hooked on car when I used to watch him repairing jeans, yes, okay, tough, yes, tough at first, it was difficult, yes, okay, Number five, yes, number five, with, stuck with, yes, but I stuck with it, yes, okay, takes lifetime, yes, a long time, running, yes, okay, I will run a course in three years. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. When you get your degree, maybe you can run a course. Yes, because there are a lot of people interested in what you are learning. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Check. Yes. Check out, okay. It's fun and useful, so... so do come along and check it out. Yes, okay. Well, is it clear? Yes, all right. Are you there? So, I want you to have a paper, a paper like this, or the post-it, you know, 
Nazarena is not at your house now. Yes? So you can borrow the post-its from her. So maybe you can get a paper or other post-its from your house. Yes? Okay? And I want you to write this. Yes? Okay. Passionate about. Yes? Okay? Are you there? Passionate about. Yes? When you really love something. Is it clear? Passionate about. And you leave a space because then you are you will write a sentence with passion. I am passionate. I am passionate about something, yes? So it is be passionable. Ojo, tengo que conjugar el verbo to be. Yes, okay? <clears throat> I am passionate about teaching. I am passionate about learning. Yes, is it clear? Okay, so write it. The minute. Yeah. And your example. Is it clear? Yes? All right. Number two. Full stop. Yes? What is a full stop? Yes? There is nothing more to say. It's a full stop. I won't talk about this anymore. Is it clear? That is a full stop. Yes? Okay? Full stop. I don't want to talk about this. Yes? <coughs> Cooked on. Yes? We are dealing with the words that you had in the text. Okay? That you have in the text. Cooked on. Yes? Hooked on. Is when you are unable to stop doing something. Yes? When you are unable to stop doing something. And it's there is here eh? in the text. Yes, uh, where is cook on? Yes, mechanic, ba, 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 ba. my dad was a mechanic and I guess I got cook on cars because I used to watch him. Yes, okay. Cook on, yes. Okay, and then you have um, tough, difficult. Yes, okay. This is a tough situation, yes. And I want you to put the meaning and write an example. Yes? Okay? Good. Then you have stuck, stuck with. Yes? It's when you kept doing something although it was hard. Yes? I was, ex I was stuck with that correction. But in the end, I could do it. Yes? Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Good. Let's go. Good. So let's go to the other one. Yes. Take a lifetime. Yes. It takes a long time. It takes a lifetime to solve this problem. Yes. Okay. Is it clear? Run a course, yes, when you are organizing the course, yes, in three years I will run a course, yes, okay, but first of all I have to get my degree on, blah, 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 yes, check out, see if you like it, yes, check out the new classes, yes, I have added on the internet, yes, so I want you to put the minutes as I have dictated and then rewrite the sentence on a sheet of paper, on a paper or on the uh, post-it. Yes? Okay. So I want you to go very quickly to exercise five. Do exercise five. Yes? Are you there? Do it. And we check. Yes?
Fair? Okay. Number five. Okay. Tough. Yes. Two. Check it out. Yes. Three. Full stop. Four. Start with it. Yes. Kept doing something although it was hard. Yes. Start with it. Yes. Number five. Takes a lifetime. Number six, running, organizing. Number seven, I really love, I'm passionate about. And eight, was unable to stop doing something, got hooked on, yes? Hooked on, yes? For example, I thought I was looking for another example here. It says, another scene, another uh, meaning, it says hooked on, yes? It says, you are cooked on a drug, you feel, if you are cooked on a drug, you feel strong, a strong, you feel a strong need for it and you cannot take it, yes, addicted to, <clears throat> maybe, I was thinking on the other meaning that maybe you will listen to a song and in the song you will say, I was hooked on, yes. And I was hooked on drugs. Yes, okay, addicted to. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, is it clear? All right, good. Well, that was, was I, uh, the thing I was checking. Yes, okay. Well, uh, are you there? Shall we go to exercise six? Yes, I want you to go to six and complete the chart using the go, do, and play. And you have the words there. So I want you to put in order those words, all right? Is it clear? And then we are going to check. Yes, do it. Come on, ready, steady. Unit yes. three, listening and vo Remember to pause the activity, to pause the video, do the activity, and then listen to the answers, yes? Vocabulary focus. Activity okay. six. I love the center and I use it for a lot of activities. I go swimming there at least once a week, and they've got a chess club too, so I play chess after school on Thursdays. They've got a great bowling alley, and I sometimes go bowling there with my friends at the weekend. My mum wants to speak Italian when we go to Italy on holiday, so she's doing an evening class on that at the centre. My little sister does karate there on Fridays. She's getting really good at it. All right, there we are. Yes, so you have the words from six and seven, and I want you to highlight the words there. Yes, and highlight the words here. And remember, from this chart, you have to study the things, the words that go with go, do, and play. Let's check. Go swimming, go bowling, go shopping, go clubbing, go skateboarding, go fishing, go hiking, do. An evening, an evening class, an evening class, do karate, do judo, judo, do voluntary work, do the homework, do crosswords, do aerobics, do sudokus, sudokus, yes, sudoku class, do a sudoku class, play chess, play cards, play board games, yes, juego de mesa, play tennis, Play computer games, play basketball, tennis, and blah, blah, blah. Yes? Okay. So very quickly, you are going to go to exercise eight. Yes? Exercise eight. And it must be highlighted. Good. Mm, hopeless. Mm, keen. Mm, fun. Mm, fascinated. Mm, passionate. All the sentences there. Remember to pause the video, listen to the, uh, do the activity and then listen to the answers, okay? Well, number one. Yes, are you there? Good at. Hopeless at. Keen on. Fond of. Fascinated by. Passionate about. Interested in. Mad about, be into. Remember, I am into something. I am into tennis. I am into playing tennis. Remember, you can say it 
uh, after the preposition plus a noun, I am into volleyball or I am into playing. Yes, after in a preposition, the verb goes with ing. Okay, so very quickly, let's go to page 28. Page 28, are you there? All right, and it says, uh, what subjects would you like to learn more in a class? Yes, uh, more about as an evening class, okay? Are they all very expensive if you read the courses? So I want you to read the courses, yes? And I want you to think about this. Which one would you like to be, to learn more about, yes, okay? Come on, do it, and then we talk about it. Are you fed up with something? Yes? Are you passionate about something? Would you like to have a good qualification? Yes? In something? Well, for more information, you have to call this number or go to that address. Yes? Okay? Because you have an online address. Okay? So, uh, it doesn't matter if it is here, because this is an example, yes? But I want you to tell me uh, about what are you interested, what other subject, what subject would you like to learn more? Would you like to learn more about science? Would you like to learn more about math? Would you like to learn more about literature? Would you like to learn more about history? Yes, because sometimes you like a thing more a subject more than the other so which one is it and why did you like are you interested in it? yes in it yes okay so very quickly i want you well you have to talk at home about it. very quickly i want you to go to the grammar reference page 148 page 148 you always have the grammar reference there. Yes, grammar reference. Yes, and you have, in this case, we have countable and uncountable. Now, this is noun. This is something that you already know from the primary. Yes, from third grade, second grade. And you have countable and uncountable nouns. I want you to read it. Yes, to highlight it. Yes, and... Re, uh, it's a reminder, yes, that you have countable nouns. For example, which one? Yes. Apple. Yes. What else? Banana. Yes. Okay. It's a noun. It's a separate unit that can be easily counted. Yes. One banana, two bananas, three bananas. Some plurals are irregular. Yes. For example, people. Yeah. Person, people, foot, feet. Okay, yes, is it clear? Yes, and then you have the uncountable nouns and you have liquids and, liquids and masses, for example, oil, cheese, sugar, yes. If you say, can you give me some oil? Yes, it's okay, but it becomes, yes, a countable noun if you say a bottle of oil, yes. Do you understand? Yes, is it clear? A packet of sugar, yes? Porque me van a decir, pero teacher, este noun puede ser countable or uncountable. Yes, but if you put it in a bottle, if you put it in a, bo uh, in a box, okay, in a packet, yeah? So that's why sometimes if you open the dictionary, you will find it that it's both countable and can be uncountable. Yes, it, is it clear? Yes, and then you have uh, things which are difficult to separate or count. Hair, spaghetti, yo no digo, dame un espagueti. No, some spaghetti, yes, okay. After nouns, for example, information, happiness, you don't say the happiness. That's why you don't put the, the D before the noun, because it is an after noun. You, can, you can't touch it, okay. No se puede contar, no se puede ver. Yes, happiness, knowledge, okay. And watch out, yes, uncountable nouns appear countable by using piece of, a bottle of, lo que ya le dijo la teacher anteriormente. Me adelanté al tema. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So now that you have already 
read the grammar, I want you to um, do exercise four. Exercise four, five and seven. Come on, four, five and seven. Remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? Is it clear? Yes, teacher? Yes, okay. Exercise three, two, three, four, five, and seven. Yes, okay, I give you the answer. Time, uncountable. Classes, countable. Student, countable. Job, countable. Spanish, uncountable. Cooking, uncountable. Qualification, countable. Advice, uncountable. You can say a piece of advice. Yes, okay, no advice is. Yes, information and contable, money and contable. Yes, okay, exercise four. Are you there? Okay, number one, we can use a one before an uncontable now. True or false? False. Yes, okay. Number two, we add s to make an uncontable noun plural. False. Yes, number three, we use a singular verb is with an uncontable now. Yes. Yeah. Sugar is delicious. Yes, you know, sugar is uncountable and the verb, yes, is, is, for example, is a singular. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Are you there? Good. Number one. Water. Milk. An activity. Skin. Reading. Yes. Okay. Is it clear? Three, beauty, yes, an abstract noun, beauty, hair, love, anger, yes. Number four, a material, wood, chocolate, yes, is it clear? So let's go to exercise seven, okay, do you remember any, a few, yes, a little, yes, quantity, yes, okay. Number one, yes, are you there? Any. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. When you use any for, for questions and for interrogative sentences. Okay? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Number two, a lot of, a lot of, two, a lot of, yes, novels. What kind of, uh, what kind of noun is novel? Is countable a lot of mas countable many yes many number three many qualification many plus countable as a hagan chup su machete por favor yes a lot of number four a lot of homework yes okay a little yes a little English yes okay a lot of homework yes I have a lot of homework I have a lot of things Yes, so a lot of for both, yes, okay? Little English, yes? Good. Uh, a little sugar, yes? So a little for uncountable. Yes, any, any, yes? And, ne and next, number six, much. Much for uncountable. Many for countable, yeah? I mean, there is much because it's chocolate. See? Chocolate. But if you say... A glass of chocolate, yes, a packet of chocolate, it makes, it makes uncountable. Yes, is it clear? But chocolate like this is uncountable. Sin un paquete, ni a box or a glass. Okay, is it clear? So revise, countable, uncountable, if it was difficult for you. So let's go to page 29. That is the last page we have today. Yes, okay. And we have the speaking part, yes. Um, when is having a passion not a good thing? When does it become a negative thing? Yes? Can you think about this? Yes? Yes or no? When you are addicted to it, when you are hooked, yes? Ahí pueden usar la palabra hooked, yes? Hook with it. Yes? Okay, hook on, sorry. When you are hooked on something. Yes? So, tell me, 
when it when does it become negative yes when you always want to do it when you become addicted to do it all the time yes okay think about this yes okay and then i want you to say what you think the good and bad points are for these photos yeah i want you to describe each of these photos yeah and read it first a magazine is going to publish series of articles about people's passion here are some of the passion they are going to write about talk to each other talk at home good about, about the good and bad points about of having passions like this for example reading yes i think it becomes negative when you be when you become an addictive person when you when you are addicted to it yes competing when you train all the time yes uh, when you are uh, for example working if you become a workaholic person it's not it is not a passion anymore because some people say okay my passion is working but when you become a workaholic yes it's it become becomes negative because you leave other do you leave uh, other things to do these activities yes and you don't have time for the family you don't have time for anything yes okay gaming yes are you addicted to gaming yes are you addicted to games so uh is it a hobby it is just a passion or you have become addicted to it yes protesting animals yes so i want you to talk about the good points and bad points of each picture yes and why you consider that it is good or bad okay so very quickly we are after you do this at home you are going to go to uh four and five yes there are the listening are you ready okay unit three speaking focus activity four okay let's begin with picture one it shows someone with examples yes a passion for reading i think it's great to enjoy reading you can learn a lot about different people's lives and how they think it's good to escape into another world do you agree absolutely but the downside is when you read all the time. Some people read on their own in their rooms and never go out. Mm. And sometimes they get isolated. Don't you think? That's a good point. Also, sometimes people need to escape their problems when they should really do something about them. Let's go on to picture two. What do you think about this one? Okay, did you listen? Okay, so you have some examples from there, the good points, the bad points, yes, okay? Exercise five, okay, are you there? So you are going to listen again, so you are going to rewind it, yes, and listen again and complete. I will give you the answer. Let's begin, let's go, yes, and when you want to involve your partner, do you agree? Number four, don't you think so? Number five, what do you think about? Number six, you give your opinion, I think. Yes, okay, but the downside, this is new for some of you, okay? That's a good point, okay? Is it clear? Okay, so I want you to highlight all the words there and all the words here, like this. Yes and yes. And um, this is a task to talk about the picture. We have already done this, yes, from all the courses. It's not the first time, first time that you talk about a picture, yes? But I want you at home to talk about this picture, yes? For one minute, yes? One or two minutes, okay? Well, uh, that's all, yes? I want you to revise everything, countable and countable noun, yes? I want you to revise all the things that go with go do and play i want you to talk about the things that are the new words check it out um tough hook on yes full uh, passionate about yes all the things we have interested in fascinated by yes revise everything because this was uh, unit three 
Remember to do the homework 18, 19 and 20. You don't have to uh, do anything in a Google Classroom. Yes, I will correct your compositions and I will send it to you with all the comments, with all the corrections, yes. But uh, I put the date, la nota, yes, 16 del 4, so you have more time to organize and you are prepared because this, um, the revisions in this uh, course, in this book especially, goes, is like this, one, two and three, four, five and six, three units revision, three units revision and test, yes, but uh, I will take the revision only, then I will organize when I will, uh, you will do the test, okay? That's why you will say, oh, yeah, but we have the revision, but not the test date, it's because of that, because I'm organizing like this now. We do the revision, yes, and I will explain how you are going to do the revision and how you are going to send your revisions for me to correct, okay? Is it clear? So, bye-bye. On Thursday, we won't see you. I won't see you. We won't see each other because it's uh, Formosa's birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Formosa. Stay at home. Sí, porque es el... Ah, no. El 9. Jueves Santo. No, Jueves Santo, perdón, because I was recording yesterday. Yes, Mondays and Wednesday. Yes, they is the Formosa's birthday. But um, the birthday of Formosa, no? Formosa's birthday. Uh, you have Jueves Santo. Yes, uh, it's a Holy Week. And, well, bye-bye. See you next class. Remember to put here. Bye-bye, here.